Hi everybody, hope you're all doing well. Uh, my name is Mickey and I'm a university student currently studying social work and I'm also part of the Fanine mentoring team. If you don't know, Fanine is a family and youth outreach team which aims to support young Eritreans living in the UK and families as well. In today's session we'll be seeing what mental is and how to be an effective mentor. So let's start off by the definition of a mentor. So a mentor is Mentorship is a relationship in which a more experienced person helps to guide a less experienced person or less knowledgeable person. Um, it's designed to build confidence and support in the mentee so they're able to take control of their own life and their own development, whether it be in work or social life, in many areas. Personally, to me, it's like being a big brother or big sister to somebody. You're able to help someone in their life through your experiences and your knowledge. So anybody can become a mentee. Why would somebody become a mentee? Why would you become a mentee? A mentor, sorry. A mentor, it's a privilege to be a mentor because you're helping those in your community, helping them empower themselves in the areas of their lives. If you are a people's person and desire to help others, you love it. It is rewarding for you to see the success of the growth. It's rewarding for you to see the success and the growth of your mentee and you'll be able to share your precious life experiences with those younger than you or less experienced than you so they're able to learn from your successes and your mistakes and your advice and that has a big impact on our youth there was a study done in america and they did a youth program and they found that those who were in this youth program were less likely to take drugs to use alcohol to skip school to be violent and to lie so this shows that having a mentor has a positive effect for the young person. Um, so to become a, become a mentor, there are some skills that you would need to require or you should desire to acquire. Many different types of skills. I'll be listing just a few skills that I think are very essential when, you, when you're mentoring somebody. Um, Self-awareness. So you should be aware of your own strengths, your weaknesses, and what you have and what you can bring to the table in terms of what you can, how you can help um, your mentee. So what skills do you have? What strengths do you have that is beneficial to those you're helping out? Um, you definitely need to be committed. So you have to be committed to your weekly meetups. You have to be committed to helping your mentee. You sh there shouldn't be anything like you're dropping out last minute or you're coming late. So it takes commitment because you're helping somebody with their life. Um, communication. Communication is one of the most important ones. You need to be able to communicate yourself clearly to your mentee. Express your emotions, your views, your understanding. And also you should listen to them. You should be a great listener when it comes to being a mentor. Listen to your mentee's um, thoughts, their feelings. Let them express themselves. Allow them to um, be comfortable. So communication is very important in becoming a mentor. Also empathetic, being able to understand their feelings and share the feelings with them. So they may be going through a rough time and you, a mentor should be able to kind of help them feel the same pain they feel. And this should be easy for us because as we're working with people from our own background, our country, we can relate to them in terms of our culture and upbringing. So I believe empathy will be very um a very easy thing for us to do hopefully um and patience it's it's not easy to be a mentor because at first you may be struggling to form a relationship with your mentee they may be kind of hostile to the whole idea they might not be comfortable with opening up so it takes time for them to open up for them to be comfortable with you so you need patience to kind of um endure that difficult time and be able to let them feel comfortable um, so yeah, when you're um, in the process of the purpose of the sessions is to if the focus is like if the focus is not you just um, pushing your idea towards them, but the focus is the mentee himself or the, herself. So the focus should be on what are their desires, their needs, their aims, their goals in life, and as a mentor, it's your it's your job to identify what it is, what are their goals their feelings what they want and when you identify their objective in life 
your role is to help them achieve that and help them uh, empower them to be able to do that so this could be um just it can be anything to be honest for example your mentor your mentee wants to start a university course as a mentor you'll be helping him apply a new class helping him find the best university so being a mentor it, it's a wide, it involves a r- wide range of tasks anything helping them with small things to big things to personal issues maybe anger management it can be anything it's very diverse which makes it such an amazing role and yeah and the per- and in these sessions of course you should keep anything discussed with your mentee personal confidential because they will not want that to be leaked unless there is a safeguarding issue and yeah when you're working with um, your mentee like I said earlier you should have a an approach whereby they're the focus so in a sense having a person-centered approach or therapy with them so the focus is them and what they want so it's evident this will take a lot of listening it requires a lot of listening and just a little example of what it will look like to be a mentor it's the first couple of sessions will be you getting to know the person that you're mentoring it could be through icebreakers asking them questions asking each other questions and then after you develop a relationship the mentee will be able to kind of open up to you show you maybe tell you what he wants in life it, it might be free um a job role it could be personal feelings personal um, experiences that you want to discuss and then you just develop on those and you focus on trying to make them better in that area simply put yeah and that's it a short video on what a mentor is hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something fantastic that is great content Thank you, Mickey. Until the next episode, stay safe. Take care. Please share. Subscribe. If you find it useful, click the like button. Thank you.